Here's another fun little project to try. So I've done everything um, the same as the last ones. I have this little yogurt container. The only tricky part about this tech, excuse me, this technique is that I'm gonna be pulling the canister out the bottom this time. So it needs to be narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. Or you need to work with something upside down. If I was going to do this technique with this, this would have to be my top because it's narrower at the top. I'm gonna to need to pull it out of the bottom. So I have my, pat my clay all cut out and I have a sleeve around my form and I went ahead and scratched um, and scored this. This is gonna be the top. So just a little bit down from the top. And I'm gonna take this coil that I made and I want it to run the length there. Might make this, whoops, now it broke. Okay, so quick demo here on coil making. Get a chunk of clay. I'm gonna get my fingers just a little moist. Start with the ball. This probably is way more than I need. Start with a ball of clay. Start elongating it and then rolling. Notice I'm rolling from the tip of my finger to the heel of my hand. Nice long rolls. Short little rolls like this give you a flat coil instead of a round one. So big long rolls. As it gets thicker, you can use two hands, putting pressure and pulling apart. Pressure and where it's thicker, you can give it a little more, start spreading my fingers, get, oops, that's a little too much, a little bit of moisture. I don't want it to dry out and break. The canvas is pulling moisture out of it. My hands are pulling moisture out of it. This is way more than I need. Sometimes it's easier to start with a bigger piece of clay though. And rolling. It's nice to have a long piece because then you can pick your favorite section. And what this is going to be is a little, create a little gallery for my lid to sit on. All right, so I want to put this over top of, I had, a, I don't have a serrated rib, but I wanna rough this up a little bit. And then some water along there and maybe I don't want that thick part. That's a little better. And just, oops, pressing it down onto those score marks. Oh dear. Coils are not my friend today. But we'll just mend that, mend that. Putting too much pressure. Maybe I'll use my sponge to press it down and to clean up some of those score marks. And then I'm gonna trim this off and trim it off. And where it overlaps, when I wrap this, I'll have to trim a piece off as well. So this top edge here, or the, the coil, I want to sit on the top edge of my form here. So I'm gonna start, pull that plastic a little tighter. Start wrapping it around here. Getting that coil to sit on the top of the pot. 
as a good guide. And then I've got all this thickness over here. So I'm going to pull that out, remove the piece of coil, and then, see if you can see this, I'm gonna cut this at an angle. I think I need a longer blade. I'm gonna cut this at an angle like that so that my ends will join up nicely and create a nice bevel. It's okay to go through a couple times so you don't drag the clay too much. We'll remove that. Then I can go through following that same angle. Uh-oh. And remove that piece. And now I'm going to score these edges under the bevel there and on top here. A little bit of water. And smooth the seam. And my little piece of coil that came out, I can stick that back in. So this one is going to have a lid that's going to sit down in this gallery. And I'll be able to clean that up a little bit later once I take it off the form. And I'll show you how to do a domed lid that's going to sit down in that gallery. Clean that up. And by using the top of the form to hold the coil, I can get it nice and even. So what we're going to end up with, well, it's kind of like this. So you can see it's got that little coil in there. Putting the coil in after the fact is really difficult. So if you can have a form where you can do it like this, it just makes it easier. It's always fiddly. And this is just a flat lid that sits in there. Once this stiffens up, I'm gonna show you how to create a domed lid like this one.